Hello, this is Tammy with Debbie Tammy Creations, and I'm going to show you how to make some cute little pasta angels. And what you will need for this project is um, each angel will need one piece of rigatoni pasta, two macaroni pastas for the arms, and one farfalle, F-A-R-F-A-L-L-E, for the wings. And then um, you'll have to buy a, some beads. I got these at Michael's, just little um, wooden heads. So we'll glue these on. Um, I couldn't find the really tiny little round pastas. So I got this pearl couscous um, instead. And I think that will work for the hair. And then you will need a glue gun and some spray paint. I got glitter gold and white. And then I also got some of this, um, I guess it's called ribbon, but I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna make little halos out of this. All right, so to get started, I also have, this is um, like a piece of parchment paper. So you just start with your rigatoni and I'm gonna just put some glue, hot glue along the top here and glue my, with the um, ball pointed down, glue that on top. And then I'm also going to put some glue here on the center of this little thing that's gonna be wings. Ouch, <laughs> be careful that is hot. And I'm gonna stick that in the back like this. And then we're going to, I'm just gonna go ahead and put the glue directly on the rigatoni for the arms because I don't wanna burn myself. And I'm gonna stick these on here like this. So they look like little arms. And um, I think when I used to make these, I had little tiny bells and I put the little bell here like she's holding a bell. So I may see if I can find some of those and I can add that at the end because it was really cute. All right, and then on top of the head and all around the back, we're going to make hair and we're gonna make it look like she has curly hair. Okay. And for this, we're gonna use this couscous and just dip the whole thing in, in the hair like that. And that makes her hair. So now um, I'm gonna make quite a few of these and I will let them dry. And then I will be back and I will show you how I do the spray paint. And then, oh, you'll also need like a black um, Sharpie or marker or um, something of that sort to draw the eyes and the mouth on there. Okay, so I've made a few and these are just drying, but I think they're gonna turn out really cute. And I'm gonna go see if I can find my bells. Um, and then the next step is once they've dried, I'm gonna go outside or to the garage and put this white paint over them. Um, and then when that dries, I'll put the glue, the gold glitter on. Okay, so now we are taking our white paint and I've shaken it up and I'm going to start on the back, just covering each one. Oops. 
we'll let those dry and we'll come back and turn them over and do the front. Okay, they got dry, so I'm turning them over and I'm going to start spraying them on the front. So I'm using the white again. And I'm just going to spray the front of each of these. Let them sit. Just make sure I get the backs of the wings. And I'll come back in about 30 minutes and spray the gold. Okay, so it's been a couple hours and now I'm back with the gold glitter. And I'm going to spray, spray these on the front. So what I've realized too um, is that if you put a little piece of the glue on the rigatoni instead of on the bell, in between her arms and then you just put the bell on top of the glue then um, it keeps you from getting burned also with the little halo if you can hold it down with something and um, put the glue on it and then you take your well then you take your little um, angel and turn her upside down like we did with the um, hair and put her head on it. That way you're not going to get burned either. Um, then we can draw the little face. Just, this pen, this is my little Posca pen um, and make the little use for the eyes and a little O oval for the mouth so it looks like she's singing and then um, I've got some little magnets and sometimes I put a magnet on the back because these are really cute on the refrigerator or you can take another piece of your pipe cleaner and um, just connect these two ends and then put this on the back of her head and she can become an ornament that way. So just, there we go. So you can have ornaments or you can have the little um, magnets, whichever you prefer. And these make great little gifts or, you know, these would be cute on a present put on top of a present or on your tree. Thank you for watching.